I'm Maxine Margot Rubin, and this is The Many Shades of Green. There is little doubt that climate change is greatly affecting our environment, especially the weather. Reverend Billy and the Church of Earth Alleluia moved to get this message out by taking action to stop polluters from adding toxins to the land, air, and water. The church is a performance art company dedicated to promoting activism in order to affect positive change in areas of social justice and the environment. We find Reverend Billy in great theatrical form, building a powerful case for the dangerous effects of global warming. We are clearly not treating Mother Earth with respect, and she is lashing back at us through powerful hurricanes, tsunamis, earthquakes, and more. So here is Reverend Billy at the historic Theater 80 on St. Mark's Place in New York City with his tale of Teenage Tornado Rebellion. Are we at a point, are we at a point where we have to start, we have to start making a judgment about how absurd the world we live in has become? Finally, do we have to, we, do we, at what point? If not now, in the Church of Rathaluya, we think the message is coming to us that the time is now, and that that message is coming to us from the earth. It's coming from the earth. Every week there's another disaster of, an, of, an, of, of, of unprecedented scale. There were in April 600 tornadoes on the continental United States in that 30-day period, 600 tornadoes, some of them a mile wide. I grew up out there on the prairie. I don't remember that they were a mile wide. They were kind of like, they were like, kind of like, you know, Elvis, you know, they, they were narrow, you know. A year ago, there were 110 tornadoes in the month of April. That's five and a half times as much. And yet, in the descriptions of these tornadoes, in much of the reporting that comes to us, they were regarded, those tornadoes were regarded something like 600 juvenile delinquents. They did awful things, but they were so young that they can't be taken to court. A little bit like that. The earth was quickly, like in all these disasters I've noticed, the earth becomes demoted. The earth becomes not a player, not an actor in the story. Because you start having the, the human interest stories, right? You start having the heroes, you start having the victims. And you have these little tabloid depictions, little this is what it was like in Tuscaloosa that afternoon. Not that that's not important, of course it is, but the earth, if the earth is considered an inanimate object, and if these disasters are considered only accidental, it won't occur to you to promote the earth into the story. The Earth won't win that audition. The Earth will become the background. And the next time it's not the background is the next time a 40-foot tall wave hits your coast. That's the next time it's not the back background. But give human beings a few days or weeks and that 45-foot tall wave will become some kind of, you know, Andy Warhol depiction of a 45-foot tall wave, and after a while it's not threatening you so much. But it's happening every week somewhere, children. If we have an approach to living where the earth is simply, a, 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 the weather is technical, why were there 600 tornadoes? Well, because the, the air coming off the Gulf of Mexico is one degree warmer now on average and there's 4% more moisture carried in it. There it is. There's the Cartesian reduction. There's the arithmetic 
of the 600 tornadoes. And the cold air comes off the top of the Rockies, and you have almost six times as many tornadoes as you had last year. That's the explanation. If you stop there, that's where we stop. If you stop there, you're going to stay hypnotized. You're going to stay a consumer. Because a product is going to come up and it's going to have all kinds of flashy, sexy, here's your status, here's your youth, here's where you get laid, here's your wealth, here's your, you know, products outduel the earth. The earth, it's just a technical thing. Well, that, that's the way it happened because of, because of that, and then, well, then that happened, and then the arrow didn't get down to the, you know, and then the, you know, the high pressure and the... But what we're trying to do here, what we're trying to, uh, uh, well, we're trying to self-induce. And we're, we're trying to ask you to help uh, with our instant, with our instant uh, post-God religion here. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> bunch of, a bunch of raving agnostics trying to go on a nature hike together. <laughs> here in the middle of New York City. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> we're, asking, we're asking you to be a radical American again. And this time, let that radical Americanness take the form of, of feeling that the earth is alive. The earth is a living being. The earth doesn't multiply and replicate a series of identical products or a series of identical patriots. The earth is always dynamic. It's always moving. Always mysterious. The soul is coming off of these chairs. The spirit is coming into the air. We're not going to figure it out tonight. We're not going to have the arithmetic tonight. But I'm feeling it inside my body. Amen. Do you feel it too? When you let the earth be alive, then those 600 tornadoes are not mechanical anymore. They're not underage delinquents anymore. They are expressions. They are statements. They are songs. And yes, there's a dark side to the earth because a lot of people died. But, but the earth has got to be respected. Has got to be respected for being jazz. For being sex. For being, what, what, can we, what can we take from our own life that reminds us of the earth? When is the earth in our lives? You know, when, when, you're, when, you're, when your tongue is down my throat. Amen, hallelujah. Hey, earth. That's what earth comes down to in the city sometimes. Sex, sex, 600 tornadoes. What is that statement? When suddenly you have a stranger in your backyard sitting up with his back against the tree and he's dead and he flew 100 miles to be there. The earth did that. Whoa, that's going to make you sit down yourself next to that dead person and think a little bit. What am I doing to the earth? What am I doing to this earth? Those 600 tornadoes, they have not been discussed as if they are something that we made happen. The earth is not supposed to be responding to us as a result of 600 tornadoes. And the tsunami and the hurricanes, they aren't really discussed as if we have anything to do with it. They're not discussed as if the earth is talking to us because of us, because of something we did. And children, our CO2 emissions are increasing every week. And we have, we're in the shadow of big banks all around us in this city that are moving hundreds of millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions of dollars are going to those coal companies from here. From here. And we let it happen. We let it happen. Are we going to go into those banks and start singing songs? Are we going to, go, going to go into those banks and give some of the people that work there some information about what their money is doing? 
We, we, in our research, we went to the UBS bank, the, the top financier of mountaintop removal in the world. We went to the UBS bank, uh, you know where it is, uh, Radio City Mus Music Hall right there, amen, on 6th Avenue. We went in there and we started talking to people as they came out, uh, out for lunch. Nobody knew about mountaintop removal. Bless their soul. They have no idea what they're doing, sitting in front of the com computers all day, moving those pixels around. Only the people at the very top, at the very top of the 16th, up on the 16th floor, next to that helicopter that takes them back to Connecticut. Oh, they are the only people that know. Yeah. Amen, hallelujah. Amen. But we've got to start connecting with the people in our own community. What are we doing to the earth? What are we doing to our own lives? What are we doing to the air, the water, the ground we walk on? How do you expect to live if the, the physical systems of the earth become degraded? And we have no idea how fast it's happening. Because you know what? It's beyond our arithmetic. It's beyond anything, any, any computer model. We don't know. It's just that every week the earth is giving us another disaster that's unbelievable. Children, We've been consumers for a long, long time. And we're all like middle management in the UBS. We have trouble knowing what we're causing to happen. How do we know? How do we find out? You know, we just have to march up to each other and tell each other. We have to just start doing the research and just, look at the earth, look at the earth, it's amazing. We're standing there, that's where we are. For a second, I thought it was a separate thing. I thought it was a disco ball. No, that's us. That's us. That's us. That's us. That's kind of, that's kind of it. It is like sex. You know, it's that moment when you're making love when you realize, ah, it's us. You know what I mean? And all the culture breaks away and it's just like, yeah, it's us. You know, that moment. Or a moment in great music. In great music. James Brown is bearing down. You got that great music going on. And there's that moment. There's that moment. Oh, it's us. We're really here. We're really here. That's what we've got to do with the earth. We've got to walk up to each other and say, we really live here. We're breathing this air together. Well, this is our water. This is, a, this is our, these are our children. And this is what that bank is doing. Look. Here it is. Let's read it together, slowly. Let's take it into our bodies. Let's have that moment come into us. And then what we do as a result, maybe it can be what they did in Tahrir Square. We have got to do that here. Somehow, we've got to break out of our consumerism. Ah, ah, somehow, how do we do it? Somehow, the earth is calling out to us. Ursaluya, Ursaluya, Ursaluya. Gonna break out. Gonna do it with you. Gonna do it with you. Gonna touch you. Gonna break out. Gonna touch. Gonna break through the veil. Break through that con job. Break through and touch each other. Be honest with each other about what is happening where we live and try to save each other's lives and the lives of our children and then do radical things. Do the things that radical Americans have done who risked their lives so that we could be free. We will have to do that too. Some of us will have to die. Some of us aren't going to be that person sitting up in that tree that flew a hundred miles. Some of us are not going to make it. But we've got to live on this earth. We have to be life in service to life. Life's responsibility. Vengeance is conservative. Vengeance is old. Forgiveness and gratitude is radical. Let's have a better week next week. Let's start living. Start living. Live a Let's pledge. 
to break through. To Mother Earth.